If you're a Christian, I'm sure you want a life of the greatest impact. I know I do. But I had to learn that to have that kind of life, it was necessary to learn to play spiritual defense along with spiritual offense. You may not realize it, but I bet that you or someone you know has a toxic person in their life, keeping you from the joy and the peace, but also the spiritual ministry that God wants you to do. When I found myself running up against the wall time and time again, a wise and loving friend of mine pointed out to me how often in the book of Luke, Jesus was willing to walk away from those toxic people or let others walk away from him when the situation was unproductive. One of the reasons we need to learn how to play spiritual defense is to avoid one of Satan's most clever traps against the work of God's church. If you're a believer, you can't stop caring. The Holy Spirit within you compels you to love and to want to reach as many people as possible. Satan knows this. So what he decides to do is to take that love that God gives to us, we could call it that pure water of God flowing through us to, to nurture and to meet the thirst of so many others. And instead of that water going out into fields to fertilize them and create an abundant harvest, he wants to get us to pour that loving water straight down the gutter into the lives of toxic people who not only will never be changed, they'll resent us for even offering it. And when to walk away, we're gonna talk about how we know we're in a toxic situation. What are the markers of a toxic personality? How do we respond, whether we're at work, whether we're at church, or even more at home? Why it's important to be honest about the toxicity we're facing, and how we can understand from the life of Jesus when exactly to walk away.